Turkish officials say Monday's airspace violation by Russia is not the first. They say that over the weekend, Turkish fighter jets had to intercept a Russian aircraft. Russia says it was a mistake. CCTV's Roy Ruttenberg reports. The Russian Defense Ministry says this footage shows some of the Islamic State targets it hit on Monday, striking with force and with psychology. Tens of thousands of leaflets dropped over Hama province, reportedly urging civilians to leave and ISIL fighters to surrender. Russia says its campaign, less than a week in, is going well and may even expand beyond Syria's borders. I heard the statement of the Prime Minister of Iraq that he would be interested in the Russian Air Force helping with the destruction of terrorist positions on Iraqi territory. He said it after the first days of our operation in Syria showed a high level of effectiveness by our military. Any official request from Iraq has not been received. Lavrov says so far there's been no official request for a broadened offensive. But neighboring Turkey says Moscow's operations are already too broad, crossing into Turkish airspace more than once. Ankara says Turkish F-16s had to force back a Russian jet over the weekend. What we have received from Russia this morning is that this was a mistake and that they respect Turkey's borders and this will not happen again. Turkey's rules of engagement apply to all planes, be they Syrian, Russian or from elsewhere. Moscow said bad weather was to blame, but at least one U.S. official said it appeared deliberate. The U.S. Secretary of State speaking in Madrid called it provocative. We are greatly concerned about it because it is precisely the kind of thing that had Turkey responded under its rights could have resulted in a shootdown, and it is precisely the kind of thing that we warned against. In Brussels, NATO ambassadors holding an emergency session on Syria and Russian involvement called the intrusion, quote, unacceptable. I call on Russia to fully respect NATO airspace and to avoid escalating tensions with the alliance. I urge Russia to take the necessary steps to align its efforts with those of the international community in the fight against ISIL. Russia has now said it would be open to contact with the so-called Free Syrian Army. That's the rebel umbrella group that's trying to topple President Bashar al-Assad, with some support from Washington. The U.S. says Moscow is adding fuel to the flames of Syria's civil war. Rui Rettenberg, CCTV, in Washington.